Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Modern Warfare, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the new M4A1 Stem the Tide blueprint. This is a blueprint available in the Mono Fair store right now, and it's actually a pretty good one. Uh, if you guys take a look at the stats that come with the original blueprint, you guys will see that we get a pretty decent boost to accuracy here, as well as a really nice boost to range. We end up losing a little bit of mobility, which is weird because this class setup is specifically meant to be very aggressive, but still do well from long range. Uh, and you'll see that we also lose a little bit of control here, so we can change a few of these attachments to keep the same aspect of this blueprint, the same exact playstyle, just making it a little bit better. So if you guys take a look, Look at the stats for the class setup that I'm going to share with you in this video. You guys will see that we still get that really nice boost to accuracy and range, a little bit more of a boost to both of those, and we end up getting a really nice mobility boost as well as a no drop off at the control here. So obviously a much better class setup, pretty much uh, the exact same play style. So hopefully you guys like this thing. So let's jump into the attachments. So if you guys take a look at the attachments that we're going to be using, the muzzle that we're going to be using is the monolithic suppressor. So we're keeping this the same as the original blueprint, giving us that sound suppression as well as damage range and a nice boost to accuracy and range. So again, the monolithic suppressor muzzle. The barrel that we're going to be using is the Corvus Custom Marksman. So we're keeping this the same as well uh, from the original blueprint. As you guys can see, this is one of the best barrels that you can run for that distance, uh, giving us a really nice boost to accuracy, range of control. We end up losing a little bit of mobility here, which we're going to make up for with the next attachment. But again, that Corvus must, uh, Custom Marksman barrel. We're not going to be using a laser. We're also not going to be using an optic. The stock that we're going to be using is also the same with the no stock, giving us movement speed and aim down sight speed. You guys will see that here is the main uh, attachment to really boost that mobility. This is what's going to allow us to move around the map really, really quick and, uh, and give us a nice boost in mobility there. So again, that no stock. The underbarrel that we're going to be running is the Commando Foregrip. So this is a really good attachment to use, mainly because we're not losing aim down sight speed like a lot of the other underbarrels do provide. Uh, but you'll see that we get recoil stabilization and aiming stability. Keep in mind, guys, this is an M4, and aiming stability affects idle sway, which we don't have. So it's pretty much a useless pro. The main purpose is that recoil uh, stabilization. So a really nice boost to accuracy rate of control. So again, that Commando Foregrip underbarrel. We're not running any extra ammunition. I believe the original blueprint calls for the 60 round mag, which is necessary in Warzone, uh, but we don't want to run that on this specific class setup. If we're going to be aggressive, we're really not going to need that 60 round mag. And last but not least, the rear grip that we're going to be using is stippled grip tape. So we're going to use this to basically counter that muzzle and barrel that we're using to give us once again aim down sight speed. And we also get sprint to fire speed here, which is nice since we are going to be playing aggressive with this class setup, running around corners or through doorways. Having a better sprint to fire speed will help us win a lot. Lot more of those gunfights giving us one last boost to mobility but again that stippled grip tape rear grip but i'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific class setup if you guys have any questions about the original uh, blueprint for the stem the tide or the class that i share with you in this video please make sure to leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to try to help some of you guys out but i really hope you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see how you guys in the next video